The third Royal Culture Festival officially kicked off at Gyeongbokgung Palace. Traditional music, dancers and reenactment performances of royal culture will be featured during the 10-day event. Our Yoon Shin was at the opening ceremony. Performers dress in traditional Korean dresses or hanbok, make a grand entrance to the main royal palace of Gyeongbokgung, announcing the official beginning of the third annual royal culture festival. A journey back to the Joseon dynasty. The 10-day festival aims to recreate the world of the royal families from the era. And here at Hyunggyemun Gate at Gyeongbokgung Palace, some 10,000 local and international visitors have come to see the opening ceremony. With traditional music filling up the air, the evening starts with a reenactment performance depicting scenes from centuries ago. This, as spectators, many of them also wearing hanbok, witness in awe timeless movements that serve as a window to the past. I love how the festival provides a variety of events for visitors to truly experience traditional Korean culture. I think this year's performances are even going to excel those from last year. I came here to visit the country because I'm very interested in the culture of Korea and that got me interested into coming here and maybe that would be a great opportunity for me to learn more about the Korean culture. The unique beauty of Korea's history and culture is highlighted at the event, featuring additional events and exhibitions such as traditional food tasting and live performances of traditional Korean music. The festive mood will also be present at three other grand palaces in Seoul, namely Changbokgung, Changgyeonggung, and Toksugung palaces, as well as the Royal Jongmyo Shrine, a UNESCO heritage site until May 7. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.